Hey, 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 what's going on, y'all? Listen, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back with another video, man. Welcome to the PNFX channel, man, Paid in Foreign Exchange. I'm back, man. Listen, y'all, it's with a heavy heart. It's with a heavy heart. You can tell from the title. Y'all, I failed my, um, my prop firm challenge. Y'all remember the first one, I passed it, but um, I dropped the ball on the funded. Well, this time, I, um, day one, hit my daily goal, was done. Day two, went as follows. All right. Best trading day, which was yesterday, 374. Worst trading day, 304. Um, yeah, ridiculous, man. Uh, so... I don't know why it's a like current day to draw down. I don't know like that was a total. Like, I didn't, I was never down $524. I think that's just a, a, a total of, I don't know how they add that up. Because like my, uh, my current balance for the day was only 10374 But I got up to 10 uh, I did take profit. I took like $51. So I got up to like uh, 10 for 11 Right, so. Guess they coming to they equate that. Um, I got I really got to look at um, how they got the whole current drawdown. I think it's just a sum total uh, of the drawdown for the day in actuality. But it all boils down to this. Y'all. Make a long story short. All right. Uh, my daily drawdown threshold for the day. I couldn't go below ten seventy five. And if you can look right here. 1069 and I'm so upset y'all I'm gonna show y'all the setup here in a minute but I'm so upset man because that's on me like I didn't I wasn't paying attention I literally thought uh low key that overall drawdown threshold was 9594 but that's like overall so like I could have I could have finished that let's say 10,076, right? And I'd have been in the clear for the day and I would have had a new daily drawdown threshold for tomorrow. But I, I was telling my wife and my children, man, like it's frustrating because it was $5, man. You know what I'm saying? $5. But let me show y'all the setup real quick because uh, it's making me even more matter. Um, now, I use Sway charts, right? But just for the sake of the video, uh, I keep this metal trade. My metal trade, I use it uh, just for demo purposes only. I do not uh, put funds into metal trader. Uh, all my funds go into my live account with Sway. But like I said, I use uh, metal trader for demo purposes, right? I really just don't trust any metal trader platforms anymore, just without everything happening. But I do use them for demo purposes. So um, this is the trade, y'all. We literally. Uh, this don't even this look crazy to you now, but initially, this was the channel. I, this is why the thing I don't like about metal trailer, but I'm trying to hold it. So I'm gonna hold it right there, and you can see uh, it was a nice little uptrend, and I was waiting on the break. This break happened uh, during 8:30 session, right? So this is really a breakout uh, strategy. Uh, I let the breakout happen, right? This is the 8:30 counter right here. I don't mess with the 8:30 counter, okay? Uh, I sat on my hands, waited. Uh, I didn't even get in right here. Waited for the pullback, which happened. Got in right up around here, I believe. Because I know I caught these candles. All the way up to here, I'm in the trade. All right? I get up like $200. I typically trend trade. For whatever reason, I didn't twin trade, y'all. And I'm so upset because I knew it was shooting. And I should have shot more. But I'm up 50 pips, okay? I had one entry, and then I took another entry uh, after this pullback, and I took the second entry up to her. So we got to buy like two hundred dollars. Had I twin traded, I'd hit my goal. My goal uh, for the day was on the three seventy five. I would have made like four hundred. And if you can see, let's just bounce back a little bit. If you can see, uh, my consistency limit is four. It was four sixty six, right? So I'd have been good at four hundred uh, and been straight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but you got to stay within that consistency limit. I can't go over that. Like if I made over five hundred dollars, it still fail. Right, so you got to stay within um, the parameters they set. But let's go back. Beautiful trade, man. 
beautiful trade. Like, phenomenal breakout. Uh, you can see market structure, just the, uh, the highs and lows. I don't know why uh, it's doing what it's doing, but uh, just beautiful market structure on the way up to this. I knew we were shooting up. And so, like I said, I had this bad boy set. And like I said, once it broke this, I knew it was money, but I don't I don't take that because like this is Nas 100, so you just can't trust um, open. Sometimes that bad boy, you know, act like news. It'll shoot up, then shoot down. So I went with none of that. So this is a prime example though. Like we shot up twice, uh, and then came down, then dropped down her just to pull back up. When I seen that pull back up, I could have got in right there, but I didn't. I waited. Uh, I wanted to confirm entry. Like when I on, on my. Uh, Proud firm accounts, like I ain't playing no games. I want straight confirmed entries, A1 setups, and I, I got it. You know what I'm saying? On this particular account right here, I believe is where we was at. I think I got, I don't think I waited. I just knew um, when I seen the bad boy shoot down and come up, I knew he was going like this. I think he called, uh, y'all heard of Oliver Velez. He called it that, um, he called it a torpedo. And so I knew we was money. Right, I knew it was money just from this one. Just this whole, for it to draw down and then pull back up like that, I knew it was money. But I still waited, right? Because we hadn't broke this yet. Uh, but on this one, when we came back up, we were shooting back up with momentum. Came down just a little bit and, you know, took off, right? And I made $200. I was up 50 pips and uh, it started dropping down. And you can see market structure, right? You can see market structure. Low, low. Little high, little low, little high, little low, little high, little low. But I was at, it had already tapped me way before it got down here. And as you can see, this bad boy, credit support, went on back up. On until right now, right? It's actually 8.04 on September 25th. So, back to the drawing board. Not done. I'm like I said. I'm more frustrated. I'm telling my wife, I'm more frustrated uh, on how I lost. Like it's not that I don't know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I passed my first ever prop firm challenge uh, a few weeks back. And so taking my second one, I just knew I was just gonna pass this bad boy with flying colors, and I was trying to hit a home run. Trying to hit a home run on on, on the second day because I hit a home run yesterday on the gold trade, and trying to hit a home run today, and I should have waited. I mean, I could I should have took my 200. And just waiting for something else, right? Or live the trade another day. Been cool with the 200. Or I should have just upped the lot size. Or I should have twin traded like I normally do. Like, it was so many different variables. But I wrote it down. I got it out in my trading journal. It's very important, y'all, on your trading journey to make sure you're tracking your trades. To put everything down that you did, right or wrong. Everything that you've seen. The reason why you took the trade. Date it. Time it. You know what I'm saying? I know this was a... Uh, Wednesday trade that I took. People say they don't trade Wednesdays. I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like... I, another thing that got me was after this happened, uh, it was 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. So from 10 to 11 on Nas, um, the stock market, they on lunch. And so uh, my guy ICT, he said, you don't trade that window between 10 and 11. I think that's 11 to 12 his time, but that's 10 and 11 my time. And it goes to show, like, this is what was going on. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it was making these lower lows, lower highs all up and through her market structure just going all the way down, just slowly but surely taking me out. And I was sitting in there. You, when you when you get get this little drop, and then you well, fuck, when you get this drop, and then you get that, then it come back down. Then you get this, then it come back down. Then you get this, then it come back down. And it just slow up, so just taking your butt down, man. And I'm looking at, it, I'm telling my wife, I said, man, it's, it's creating uh, lower lows. And uh, I went ahead and got on out. And I'm thinking I got out in a good enough time, but shoot, I was already out, I was already down too much. I thought I had like 500 to lose. So they start my they started my account at ten thousand and I finished with ten thousand seventy. I'm like, okay, if anything I break even, but now it's for on a daily basis. So you know what I'm saying? So that's on me. Um and I'll I'll do better next time. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take the ten thousand one again because I believe I can make uh make some some great profits uh once I do get funded. Uh that's on a weekly basis. I believe I can extract, you know, one to two thousand a week just off that ten thousand dollar account. Uh, and that's really all I'm looking for right now. I, I'll, I'll move up to the big bucks and with the fifty thousand dollars and hundred thousand dollar accounts uh, later. But for right now, man, I really want that ten thousand dollar account. Uh, it's very affordable. One forty nine 
uh, with the discount. I only spent 103, so praying another discount come out um, and beginning of October. You know, it's going to be a new month, so I'm pretty sure Sway might run another discount uh, to start the month. So I'm gonna sit tight uh, until then. Right, we still got live accounts we trading, but I'm, I'm I'm trying to go the prop firm route, man, and trade other people's money, man, and just get my account balance up there faster right but in the meantime between time man hey we still trading my wife still trading her live account so we good but um so i'll take y'all on this journey with me man take y'all on this journey with me man i'm going to be a six-figure prop firm trainer all right and uh eventually you know have multiple of them where i'm making you know seven figures that's our prop firms alone using other people's money man it's like this is the best thing since sliced bread so stay tuned i told y'all i'm gonna give y'all the good the bad the ugly and it is what it is. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all, man. I don't, I don't, I'm not one of these fake traders out here that make it seem like everything glitz and glam. I'm gonna show y'all the wins. I'm gonna show y'all the losses. Just is what it is. Got you. Got to be real with people because some of the people are asking me, "Hey, how you do? I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it." Well, you got to see every facet of it to, to see if you really want to do this, right? Like if the if the losses don't inspire you and motivate you, want to get back in the market, this ain't for you. If you for to go tuck and cry and tuck your tail and quit and woe is me and the market is cheating and it's manipulating and this, that, and the third. This ain't for you. Right? This is not for you. It's not the game for you, man. Uh, figure some mess out. It's, it's a thousand ways or more to make money. And uh, if you can't handle losing money, investing ain't for you. I was built for this, man. So y'all see me on the next one. I'm coming back bigger and better. Believe that. See y'all on the next video. It's your boy. Remember, keep God first. Matthew 633 and everything else will fall into place. Love y'all and I mean it.